Whoops. Coming through. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez. Hey guys, are you here? Ray Kige, Gina. Welcome back to another GTA 5 car showcase episode. Today we have the overflood in Morgan. I Morgan. 2.165 million. Apparently, from what I've read so far, something to do with electric. So one of you guys requested this one of the previous episodes so far. Let's, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Same color. Let's order it. But look, sooner or later, we're going to have to showcase the open wheel cars. And I still am yet to drive one in the game since I've come back to this game. So we'll see. We'll see pretty soon. All right. We're just surviving on the edge with the money. But we're slowly, slowly cycling through the existing cars that we're selling to get the new cars that we haven't yet showcased. All right. Let's get straight into this. All right, all right, here it is, here it is. Is it worth two million? That's the first thing I'm gonna ask. The rear looks like a... Stop talking, man. Shut the... What? Oh, completely missed and that was a delayed reaction. Anyway, the rear just looks like a, a, a blown up Audi R8 from it, you know, like, like as if someone's just fully blown air into it. You know, it's interesting, uh, but the, the, the front, Mm, somewhat of a Lexus resemblance. Correct me if I'm wrong. What car is this? It's a, it's a, it's a weird shape. It really is. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it, I don't know. All right, I don't know. But look, as always, guys, if you guys do enjoy the episode and the series, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content and uh, drop it down below in terms of the comments of what you want to see next. So it is all electric, eh? Rear wheel drive. Okay. There we go. Oh, wow. Yo, what's that noise? Why is it, why is it crying? Some crazy sound. Okay, it, it is pretty, uh, wow. Okay. Interesting. So you can lose its rear and uh, it's, it's got a decent traction. Interesting. Swing it in. Through the gap. Okay. Uh oh. Coming through. Oh, wee. Very nice on the brake boost. It's got a nice aggressive tone to it, you know? But I feel like it's a placebo. Okay, they're very, very good on the brakes. Okay, interesting. Oh, the train. Uh oh, didn't see that. Uh oh. I'm in through. Wow. It, it's got a very aggressive noise to it for an electric car, you know? Ouch. I'm in through. But this is the stock version only. You can really throw it in. The turning circle is amazing. Yo, check that. Beautiful. Nice and easy. Picks up crazy amounts of speed near the mid pack of its power. Anyway, let's have a look at its customization. Oh, it's a sports car. It's classed as a sports car. Okay, I thought it was a super. Hold on. Let's see. Let's upgrade this brakes. Bumper. Wow. Okay. Right. So, excuse me as we go through this. Primary splitter. So it looks like a riceable car indeed. It's got the primary race splitter. It's got the plastic with the carbon. Interesting. Interesting indeed. We go with the carbon for the time being. We've got the rear bumper with the primary trim diffuser. We've got the carbon with the out diffuser. We've got the primary out. We've got a carbon out. We've got the GC race out of MK1. Wow. Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 4, Mark 5. Can you keep going? Mark 1, Mark 2, the primary GC. Okay. Well, I feel like. I feel like ricing today. Let's rice this up. Shall we? Okay. The Cassis, the Chassis, the Chill. We've got the Mark 1 cage inside. For an electric car, they've completely given up all these ricing options, which is interesting. Wow. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a decent amount of seats here. Okay. We've got a nice little madness going on. We've got the. Street rail okay, I like that one. No, I do like that one. We've got all the other options. They're interesting with the engine completely maximized the exhaust. We've got stock now, exhaust. Man. We've got the titanium Leave tips. Me. We've got the carbon. The stock's alright. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, 
Ooh, the, the big ball one look nice. But then again, yeah, it does. It, it really does. I, I like this. I like the titanium one, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. But the grill, carbon. Grill, we've got the plastic grill. Interesting. Go with the carbon hood. We've got the carbon stock. Go. We've got the single vented. Oh, wow. Look at that. Carbon. And then we've got the uh, double vented hood. Jesus. Oh, sorry. Apologies for that. Wow. Let's go with the yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Exactly that one. Lights. Xenon. Interesting layout here. No need for the neon kits. Liver. We've got overflood stripes. We've got the... Oh, wow. Okay. Stuck in the 90s. <laughs> Definitely not COVID, though. Just saying. Oh, the, what's this? I thought that was Red Bull for a second. Is that a cat? What is that? Is that Snorlax? Okay. Interesting different. Oh, is that bait? <laughs> okay. Mirrors. Oh, I think we're getting a bit colder. Okay. We've got, we've got to go with... Uh, carbon here boys and then for the plates it's got to be the yellow and black the we spray i do like this color but i want to go with a different type of blue actually because i do want to get pearlescent on it let's go with uh wait pearlescent can only be added to a metallic paint i see i knew that of course i knew that did i know that no i didn't well i forgot it's been a while what blue is it is it the general blue it's the but various different types of blue, so this is decent, but I'll go with the salmon blue. Pearlescent. Really give it a nice tone, you know. Got a nice sienna brown. Bleach brown. Oh, bright purple. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That is some nice... Oh, cream gives it a nice white touch to it. A bright purple. Oh, that looks like something else bright purple is. Okay, secondary color, same as well. Okay, metallic blue. That's fine. Trim color. Blacked out inside, not too bad. And the roof, we've got prime roof and then we've got the carbon roof. Wait, what's up with the primary? Oh, do you know what? Don't even go there. Skirts, carbon skirt. And we've got the secondary, we go with Beautiful. the carbon skirt to match the front bumper and the rear bumper. Stock spoiler. Wow. Okay, this has got so many options. Upper mounted. Jeez. Already going crazy. Tuna. The carbon tuna. We've got the high racing spoiler. Carbon. We've got the GT spoiler. Carbon GT spoiler. We've got the big wing. Carbon big. with curved spoiler. Angled spoiler. Christ. Okay. Uh, uh, that's just crazy, y'all. Crazy indeed. Indeed, indeed. Okay, let's go. All with about making angle. a statement. It's on strip. Good. Yo, are, are you mad? What's this? Interesting. Oh, so primary full cover. And then you have none. Okay, you got a plastic full cover. But surely, we'll keep, we'll keep it simple with that one, actually. Oh, no, there's a primary cover there. Nah, no, the color looks better. I'm sorry, not plastic. Suspension sport. But the race you transmission. Wait to see how slick your transitions are. Wheels. Let's see what we got. Because this is sport. Should we just stick with the sports? Christ. Oi. Beauty and a rough build there. But we got a bit of nice. I've already raced this out. So, realistically, the oozer is pretty decent as well. But we've got to go with something simple, you know, something slick, something that really balances out the visuals behind this. And we've got Mercy here. We've got 59. Okay, we've got Ferocious, we've got Chrono. Do you know what? We've got the Diamond Cock, we've got the Lost. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I don't know about that one, man. But I feel like the uh, Mercy will be decent on this one. I can't lie. And we've got the, we've got to get the color for it as well. Give it all black, and that looks pretty damn slick indeed. What's Carbon Black saying? Nah. Let's go with this one. Windows. Give it a light smoke, you know, not too much going on. Light smoke. And then we've got the... And that's about it. That's all she wrote. This is, okay, all right, all right, okay. I li I'm liking the options here overall. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Come on. Oi. Monster of a car for an electric car. I'll tell you that. 
here. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Beautiful. Check the interior. The logic behind this, I'm not sure. Yo. No time for phone calls now. This thing is just going. It's all steamed up. Okay, it doesn't catch that much air. It was very heavy now. Let's see what we can do here. Complete brake boost there works out. Nice 360. Okay. Oh, that looks so good with that sunset-ish looking thingy. Oh my. So responsive on the turning circle. A little bit of clipping on the inside there. Oh, I wanted to short shift the dead. Didn't work out. I really wish this car was not electric. Oh my goodness me. It just looks beautiful from all angles now. Initially, the stock version, I wasn't sure. The more I look at this car, the more I drive it, the more just beautiful it is. Just, oh, especially in the nighttime, the driving is just so good. It feels good. Look at the responsiveness, it's smooth. Feel confident just flooring that one. It, the rear kicks out a little bit, we can slide it in. Effortless in the steering, any given speed. Don't need to consider even throttle control at this point. It really just, I don't know, it speaks for itself. Look at this. Immaculate, nice and smooth. Cornering is just so controllable. Here we go. Kick it into this. Oof. Nearly messed that one up. How do we get out of here? Where, wait, what is this place? Have I ever been through here? I don't think I've ever driven through this section before oh wow where am i oh jeebus oh yo are you what the fish nipples i don't know what that was about but that was crazy the random flip beautiful strong car it does really bring out its beauty in the night with its design Oops. coming through oh 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 jeez you can really just throw it into these corners open up its rear get the angle right shoot it in give the power down oh sorry mate and the power just kicks in again Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. Right, I'm sorry. Is someone shooting me? Oh wow, it was a mafia. Coming through. Let's end this episode in style, shall we? There we go. But overall, man, it, 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 I'm not sure about the price. Still questionable. But I love the look after fully customizing it. And you know what, man? Look at that. Look at that. This is going to be a perfect landing, isn't it? Okay, it sort of, sort of was. Look, we ruined the car, but look, at the end of the day, it's it's a really fun car to drive. Can't believe it's sports, and uh, it reminds me a bit of like the LG umped up, and a bit of Audi, a bit of uh, Lexus, a bit of everything. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Should this should this have been uh, a non-electric car because electric is questionable? Is it worth it being electric? I feel like it'll be more immersive if it was not. Give us some short shifting, give us some gears. It would have been uh, much more immersive and more engaging. But overall, I love it. I'll give it 8 out of 10. Let me know down in the top comment section. I'll definitely try to get some racing going. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Check it. So, now, good night. Peace. Yeah.